I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. I've never believed in myself in anything I've ever done, bro. I'm making this wellness Wednesday to kind of rear off from stuff about me as much and kind of be a little bit more relatable to folks because the last couple, the last year or so, I've just been talking about how um, losing my mom affected me, but I kind of want to talk about something else um, that affected me, but I believe is affecting a lot more people um, as opposed to what, you know, I'm going through currently. Um, growing up, I kind of, growing up, I I got picked up on, what the hell? <laughs> growing up, I got picked on a lot, like a lot. So, and I'm not going to go too much into details about that, but it did end up affecting how I thought about myself. Um, not only within my looks, but my abilities as well. So I kind of grew up thinking I was fucking useless. <laughs> so I wouldn't put any effort into anything because I listened to so many people saying that I'm capable of this, that, and the third that I internalized it and I believed it. So I wouldn't put any effort into anything. Um, in fact, I didn't really like life like that. But yeah, I didn't really start to actually live life to around like 21. Um, I didn't really value my life. Um, I kind of, I didn't, I didn't really, I still don't like life all that much, but that's mainly because of the people in it. Um, but I really didn't. I really had a negative outlook on life growing up for sure. Um, so when it came to school or anything, I put like the bare minimum because I was like, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to die anyway. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's what I was like. I was hoping now this is going to sound a little dark. I was hoping I'd be gone by the age of like 18. So when that when the age around 20 hit, I'm like, OK, if I'm going to be here, I might as well start trying so that's when I actually started caring about my life but I say that to say um even though I say that to say your voice will always be the loudest compared to everyone else's how I kind of got over a lot of my thoughts about myself is I would try to change that voice internally since people as it doesn't matter how much someone says something on the outside about you saying that you're this that and the third it doesn't really matter until you start start to internalize in it to internalize it and believe it and then repeating what they ever those people say to you in your head like i thought i ain't gonna lie i used to think i was ugly as shit bro and i ain't gonna lie i probably was but I could have definitely just by me now today, you can definitely make an improvements to make yourself look better. You feel me? But when you view yourself or you view something as so broken or so beat down that it's unfixable, you stay in that perpetual state of feeling ugly or being ugly or being unfixable. So what I would do to get over that is I ain't gonna lie, I used to write little sticky notes. I used to write little sticky notes. Cause when the nigga caught, like when my friends used to roast niggas back in the day, they roast me and back, such an ugly ass up nigga. I'd be like, I know I'm ugly, but don't do that shit. Cause you really start to believe it. You, you, you think ugly, you feel ugly, you feel me? So I would write little sticky notes saying you're handsome or you're capable of this. And I would put them on my bathroom door. I would force myself to see that. So once you see it, you read it. Your voice, your inner voice in your head starts to repeat it and it makes it a little bit better. And then when I started seeing things that I liked about myself, like maybe my cheekbones or um, I've always, without working out much, I've always had a very muscular frame. It's weird. I low key have like, I'm short, but I have, when it comes to muscle, I have freak of nature genes. It's weird. Um, I started, you, once you start seeing little things that you like about yourself, you can be like, okay, I see this, but this can be improved as opposed to looking at you as a beat down, broken down building that's irreparable. You know what I'm saying? If you view yourself like that, of course, you're not going to work on it because you feel like it can't be worked on. But once I started looking at key things, once I started seeing some things I did like, okay, I can improve this and make this like it, make it so I can like this. Like before I couldn't grow facial hair, bro. I could not grow facial hair. I had to use minoxidil. That's before the nigga fit and feel it started recommending that shit to niggas. I looked it up myself, bro. I couldn't grow a goatee. I can grow a beard now, but it's kind of thin on the side. So that's why I keep a goatee on. But, um, 
yeah there's there's little eye creams you could get for eye bags that's just not really working well right now um there's rapid brow you can use for eyebrows i have really thin eyebrows they're getting a little bit thicker i've been putting minoxidil on them but there's and then i grew my hair out you feel me there's ways you can improve yourself now when it comes to so don't ever beat yourself up and keep talking like keep saying that you're ugly or something because once you get that then you start to defeat yourself you start to stop the potential you can have because you're not even viewing yourself as potential so one throw that shit out your head as soon as possible um, when it comes to your looks now when it comes to abilities i would say the same thing applies i'm gonna be honest i am still not very confident with my abilities to do certain things to do most things it's weird as hell bro like i know i can cook but sometimes I get in my head, it's like, <laughs> it's like, nigga, you can't cook. Even though, like, I'll cook something for someone, he's like, this shit's amazing. And I sit there in my head, like, that nigga lying. <laughs> it's weird as hell, bro. Um, it's, it's a lot of things. Like, I would try a lot of things, but the moment someone would tell me I was good at it, I would legit, like, knock myself back down. Like, I don't know why I do that. I don't know what that stems from, but that's not good to do either. Um, I'm still trying to work on that myself. So when I come up with a resolution, I will tell y'all. But shoot, I, I drew sometimes. Sometimes I tattoo myself and it's still, I don't know. I just, I'm constantly always overthinking about me and my own abilities. And, but regardless of that, I will never let it stop me, you know? Because if you never even try, how do you know that you can do it? How do you know that you can't do it? You feel me? Like even, even when I used to do comedy back in the stage, I already had it in my head that I was going to fail, but I still did it. You feel me? And I didn't even fail. I did it pretty good. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I do that shit to myself. Even afterwards, I was like, nigga, you can't do it again. <laughs> I don't know what's my problem when it comes to that, bro. I don't know. I don't know um but i say this to say even if you don't believe in yourself even if you don't believe you could change or become better you should try anyway because you never know i have even though my i get in my own head and believe i haven't gotten to a certain point which i should i have made a lot of strives to becoming better whether if i try to knock myself down or not i have it's a fact so one thing is get out your head. Your voice is the loudest voice in the room, bro. Everybody can tell you you can't, but what you can't. If you start hearing that in your own head, you, you have to stop yourself from hearing that in your own head. Because it doesn't, if everybody's saying you can't, but you're the voice saying you can, then you'll truly believe that, you feel me? So, but I think I'm very... If I'm being honest, I'm, I'm proud of how far I've come overall with everything. I do. I do believe I can be a better in a better situation financially, but as long as I'm working on it, I'm fine. I think a lot of people kind of get caught in the mix of comparing themselves to people on social media, which you shouldn't do because a lot of people compare themselves to like other people, like maybe like mm, someone homeless or something like that or to make themselves feel better. I don't, I never understood that. I never understood that. Cause it's like, why are you comparing yourself to someone else who's homeless when someone's, because someone's always doing better than you. You know what I'm saying? Just because someone's always doing worse than you, you know, you have to compare, uh, I'm struggling to get this point across, Jesus Christ. Someone's always doing better than you. So if you're comparing yourself to someone you view as lower, there's someone always doing better. So like, why are you doing that shit? I honestly believe you should only compare yourself to who you were yesterday. And as long as you're growing, you're fine. You're absolutely fine, bro. Um, and you don't have to live by these societal expectations of who you should be as an individual, no matter what gender you are. You don't have to, because when you say that you have to live by these set ideas of what a man, woman, or wherever you may be, if you say you have to live by those ideas, you're not really living a life by your design. You're living a life by the design of not predecessors, but you're living a life by design of a set of outdated individuals 
you feel like you're living a you're not <laughs> the point is damn it you're not living a life by your design you feel me as long as you're not causing direct or indirect harm to a set of individuals live the life that you want to live and you will be a lot happier um but yeah this is just a short little damn i said short little video i looked over this shit said 10 minutes um <laughs> jesus christ but yeah um key points again to go over your voice is the loudest voice in the room if you start talking down to yourself, you're not going to work on yourself. Start li uplifting yourself. Lie to yourself. Lie, nigga. I promise you it's for the better. You might think it's worthless because I thought it was too. But I'm promising you, I'm telling you that you will, You once you see potential, you can start to work on yourself. If you knock down the potential before you work on it, you'll never want to work on it. Two, um... I need to write this down. Uh, I, don't, I, need, I need to make PowerPoints. Two, live a life by your design. You don't have to live a life by a set of societal expectations because when you do that, you're not truly living a life by your design. You're living a life by um, other individuals who kind of set it out for you. You feel me? You don't have to do that. Three, um, when it comes to getting confidence over your abilities, I still need to work on that. I imagine I need to do the same thing I did with my, um, my looks. And just seeing little things that I like that I am capable of and improving on that. You feel me? Um, yeah, I think. I, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm still working on that part. I'm still working. When I come up to a resolution, I will let y'all know. But that's it. I want to let y'all know, you know, a little bit about my background. Um, you are capable. You are able. And you can do whatever you set your mind to. But you have to set your mind to it. Um, but yeah, just a short little wellness. Is it even Wednesday? What day is it? It's Tuesday. All right. Well, um, what, what am I going to call this? Thoughtful Tuesday? I don't know. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. This is a short little video. Y'all have a good day, bro.